how to add MMD parts to Vroid models. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how to add accessories from Miku Miku Dance to VRM models. This video will only cover up hats, hair and skirts. For outfits, pants and other parts, this method doesn't work. And that is because the structure from those parts is very different and it's better to convert your model to PMX or FBX to add those. For this video I will be using this hair pack by IM3D. It's very important to read the terms of use of the parts you are going to use, since not everyone allows this type of conversions. First of all, we have to prepare the accessories in PMX editor. Open the prop you want to add to your model. And the first thing to do is to place all these at the center. This hat doesn't have bones or physics, it is only just the mesh. In the case of the parts like hair, you have to drag down everything. Now delete all the physics, joints and bones that are not necessary in the model. In this case I will just delete all the physics and joints since they are not compatible in Unity. And I am going to delete the neck bone since it doesn't control anything in this prop. Now let's go to Unity 3D, create a new project and name it however you want. Now import the package UniVRM and MMD Mechanim. This will appear and click here. To keep everything organized, create a new folder and name it like your model. Drag and drop your model inside the folder. I will be using this bald model for the tutorial. Drag and drop it to the hierarchy. I will be adding this model here and the hat. That way you will see the difference between an object with physics and one without them. To import the props, you can drag and drop the whole folder to the assets tab or just drag and drop what you need. These are very simple props, so I just created one folder and I will drag and drop everything I need. Look for your prop and select it. Check all these boxes and then click here. Then click process. This will appear and you only have to wait. You must do this process with every prop. In this case there are two of them so I have to do it twice. In case your model turns grey, right click this tab and select create material. Name it like you want and assign the image textures of the model. And I want this to look just like the VRM model, so I'm going to set the M to shader. You can mess around with this if you want your model to look better. Click the model and select the materials tab. Drag and drop the new material here. Then click apply. If you don't know which image texture goes in each material, you can check it in PMX editor. Drag and drop all the materials and click here. Now we are ready to add the props. Now open the model tree and search for the bone that controls the part you want to attach the prop to. In this case it's hair and a hat, so I'm going to search for the head bone. Here it is. Now just drag and drop the model from the assets tab to the bone. If the prop doesn't look like in MMD, this can be changed in the materials. In this case, I only have to change the cool mode to off. 
you can change the position, size and the rotation of the prop so it can fit your model. It will move just like it should. And this is why you have to place the prop in the center of BMX Editor, otherwise it gives you a lot of problems. You can add as many props as you want to each bone. In case your prop has physics, just like in the case of the hair, you can add them in the secondary bone, which is the one that has all the physics from the model, or directly to the prop. The steps are the same either way. I will do it directly in the prop. Now add the BRM spring bone component. And you drag and drop in the root bones the bones you want to have physics. You only have to add the ones that have a number 1 at the end, and the component will take the rest of the chain. And with this the model will have physics. You can change the parameters if you don't like them. Or you can totally skip this step. If you want the physics to have collisions with the rest of the body, you have to drag and drop the bones you want the prop to collide with. Most of the times, mirrored models already have the component. But since this one is bald, this one doesn't have it. So you cannot add the collisions to the hair. To fix that, let's go to the bone you want to collide with the prop. In this case, I want the hair to collide with the head. And let's add this component. BRM Spring Bone Collider Group. And this one will add this pink sphere, which is like the physics in Miku Miku Dance. You can change the size and position of the sphere and add as many as you want. I will also add this component to the neck. And with this, your model will be ready. Unless, you have bones with duplicated names in the model. If that's the case, you want to be able to export your model. I'm pretty sure in this case, it is because of the hair and the hat. So I will open the model tree, search for the props, and rename the bones so they are not the same as the rest of the model. In this case, I will add these names, And now I will be able to export the model. And with that, your robot will be ready! Do you like my hat? And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. See you next time.